after class 5 this is my new series for class 4th and subject is EVS in which I am again explaining you the learning objectives of different lessons. Today I am taking up the lesson number 27 just get goes to school and in which first of all I will tell you the learning objectives and then I will try to explain them in a uh, short form so that the children child of uh, um, 10 to 12 years age can be easily um, learn these objectives and it this video is very useful for the teachers also um, because teachers should also know what are the learning objectives behind all these chapters. For this, the three learning objectives which I have decided are to learn the term disability, to understand and recognize the international symbol of access to people with disabilities, to reflect sensitivity towards the needs of differentially able children and creating inclusive atmosphere for them. Let's take up the objectives one by one in a short ex with a short explanation. Objective one is to learn the term disability means here we will explain it means uh, in a simple terms when a person or a child is not able to perform any work or action normally you can uh, take up you can call that person a disabled person and disability can be by birth or it can be by accidentally. For example as Chuskit uh, she become accidentally a disabled child and she is not uh, disabled by birth. And you can observe that disability may be in a child or it may be in a young or old age. For example, Chuskit is a girl of your age who is suffering from with a disability. And dis disability could be mental or physical as Chuskit is physically disabled. Now, after observing this picture, you can differentiate between a normal child and a physically handicapped or a physically disabled child. Now let's come to the objective number two to understand and recognize the international symbol. This symbol with a blue color is recognized internationally for physical disabled persons and if you find this symbol at any place you must know that it this place is specially meant for the disabled person and it shows you that this parking space you can find out at a parking space public laboratory and near it a button is there to activate an automatic door which is only permissible for the disabled persons and in objective 3 it is very uh, important objective means according to me objective number 3 is very important. It is to reflect the sensitivity towards the needs of differentially able children and creating inclusive atmosphere for them. What we can do it uh, for them are that on every 3rd December of every year we celebrate the um, International Day of Disabilities. Here I want to change this word disable uh, with uh, we can replace it as a person with special abilities as our Prime Minister has already changed uh, from uh, this uh, Viklang to Divyang you know, that we can use the Divyang word for them and we can build an inclusive society means a society should be built up in such a way that these people should be taken up with a good sense and you should create accessible infrastructure in the paramount importance means in the society like on the bus stands in the railway stations or in the schools also the infrastructure should be accessible for such peoples and schools must inculcate sensitivity towards these things among these children in the early age means in the school normal children should have the sense of um, belongingness should have a sense of love for such people Call for enhanced road safety and workplace safety to prevent debilitating accidents means such should be uh, atmosphere should be enhanced should be worked like that they should do they should do their work in a normal way and changing social attitude towards disability is very crucial for these days. A school must have all these uh, facilities infrastructure facilities for disabled child means there should be a ramp in the school if the school has a stairs the ramp should be there a wheelchair should be in the school so that if a child needs it it should be available for such a child in this classroom only toilet should be prepared or built up like this means <clears throat> so that they can easily sit down or easily stand up 
and in the class in the classroom chair and table should be like that that these disabled ch child or children can sit them sit on them properly and do their work in a normal way the most crucial point which i must think a child should have or we must all learn this is that as a human being it is our prime duty to give respect to such people and never try to hurt them by saying poor fellow may i help you no instead of all this you can say that please come on we can do it together we, uh, we can do it easily let's do it together these type of some words uh, can encourage them to do their work in a normal way so all this is about your chapter and i think you must learn you must inculcate all these things in your day to day life so that you can help you can make a conducive environment for such people thank you for watching this video and if you like it kindly share and subscribe